Well, as a baby, I mean, he was just this cute little baby, and life was going along as planned. You know, we wanted three kids every two years. That's what we got. But you know, he was the second one, and as we we're going along, he just he wasn't developing. We started, meet Sam think, Felsenfeld, the, a 35-year-old man from you know, Foothill Ranch, behind, who's referring was, was to his now six-year-old son, months. Jack. And we started getting him evaluated, and we got him. In the, you know, when he turned two and a half, I, I, I knew. Yeah, I've. That's what they told me. They, they told me and my wife that that he had the autism. So we we kept going with the treatments and we knew it, but we confirmed it with a di with a diagnosis from a from a pediatric neurologist when he was a little over three, and she told us that. But there was no surprise. We knew, and he's you know been in treatment and special ed and therapy and, and intervention everything ever since. And you're just like, man, what's going on in there? And it's just it's just not fair. It's not right. Jack is now the inspiration behind his father, Sam, running 60 marathons in the 52 weeks of 2010. I have a friend who ran 52 in a year, and so, so that, that's always something that I've known is, is a pretty good stunt. So far, he's already completed one, the Texas Marathon, on January 1st in Kingwood, Texas, where he got this medal that hangs in his home office. As they say, everything's bigger in Texas. The money he raises will go to Operation Jack and a charity called Training for Autism. I want Training for Autism to raise a billion dollars in the next 20 years. I want it to be huge. I want it to be at every race and every expo. You know, he's only six. I'm not throwing in the towel on him yet. He's six. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know. Maybe he's going to come out of his shell. I mean, you know, he's just Jack.